let me blow the lot of good while he's having a hit, huh? Get his jaw, break his teeth. Now the Dillick was trying to hold him down. He was gonna harm anybody, was he? Just having a convulsion. Suddenly, everyone in the library's rambled. People are only trying to help. Loosen the collar. That's all I gotta do, nigga. Loosen the collar. They're gonna harm themselves. What a bloody melodrama. People get alarmed. Hold him down, stick this in his mouth, poke this up his... Here. Yeah. Bloody cowboys. If he wants to have a fit, that's his business. I don't know. Don't like dangerous, you ask me. Should be an advert on television. Thank you, Mr. Ponting. He'll be all right now. Hold him down. Bunch of action men, all of them. He's right, though. I know. That's what's so flaming annoying. <laughs> That's nasty. What happened to her? She was attacked. We haven't got any details yet, but the police should be along in a couple of minutes. Such an animal should be shot. Come on. Okay, put her in cubicle one. I'll be there in a minute. Oh, okay. Excuse me, uh, Charlie. I've got ambulance control on the line. They're bringing in a severe asthmatic. E.T. in a couple of minutes. All right, on my way. You go through there with Sandra, love, have a cup of tea, all right? Cuba, you got five minutes yeah. to put the kettle on? Okay. Huh? Cup of tea for the old man, minute. Right, let's get that. Track it off. Okay. up first. Thank you. All right, soldier, panic over. You're in good hands now, boy. Thank you, Cuba. ETA, five minutes. Uh, we'll proceed direct to Holby. Over. Two obstructors, now we've got a slipstreamer behind. What do you think it's bloody? Brands Hatch. Look at that controller, see that? Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, miss. I'll be with you in a moment. Easy now, easy. I don't like it. I don't like it one little bit. The sign is symptomatic, isn't it? What's needed is real security. I'm gonna have a word with the wit. He knows. Well, he covered it at the meeting. Meeting? Well, it wasn't so much a meeting, more as an ad hoc. Meetings and meeting. And it's also symptomatic that ambulance units are still not regarded as part of the medical team. Now, come on, Andy. You know perfectly well you're a key part of this team. Yeah, fair enough. But were we told about this meeting? No. All that retraining we agreed to do and still be glorified body transporters. It wasn't an important Jeez. meeting, right? Well, meetings are important, Charlie. Meetings are the cornerstone of democracy. I'm Bear Samuels. Charlie. Look. Later. All right. I've always liked Mondays. It's because of school, see? Never liked the weekends. Eh? Maybe I'm weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always like to be doing. Never like to be watching. Kick a ball of wood for hours, as happy as Larry. You wouldn't catch me on the terraces, watching some other bugger do it. Never could understand. How people here did Mondays. Crack of dawn, I'd be there, waiting to get up from school. And I'd be up and off like a rocket. I just wanted to get away from my old man, I suppose. You're a silly man, Andy. How do I look?
You ready? No. Sit. Wait at home. Let's not go just yet. Eh? We not deal with the station for half an hour. I'll put my boot down. Funny how I don't want to leave. Don't want to lose it. Not even for a while. I'm always happier. You know that, don't you? The old calm in the eye of the storm, eh? Uh, it's because it's your room. I feel it when I come through that door. It's full of you. <laughs> Comes with paying the rent. Tomorrow? Uh, Wednesday. I'll try Wednesday. You are a very, very, extremely married, married man. A bloody lemming. Ah, but they love it. All those lemmings charging at the cliff. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here, I told you I was a brilliant driver, didn't I? Hello, do you know where you are? I dropped too much bevy up near my I reckon he's been there a while. You phoned, did he? That's right. I reckon he's been there a while. Can you hear me? Huh? Come on, Sam, let's get the car. It's a bit of a backwater around here, see? He could be lying there all night. Lucky I come along. There's a car back down the road there, parked halfway up the blooming fence. I reckon he was trying to get out. Going the wrong way, though, wasn't he? Yeah. Going the wrong way, wasn't he? Wait a minute, Sammy. Just give me a moment, will you? What's the picture? Garden outside a party. Been knocking it back like it was the night before the budget. She woke up in the ambulance. Only booze. Well, so she says. Yeah. Give me a minute. I'll be straight back, will you? Right. Like for me. I reckon I'm old one. He'd still be lying there if it wasn't for me. I reckon I'm you one. Yeah, I tell you what. When me and Moot are having tea with Lizzie next Thursday, is it? We try and fix it for you for the, the honours list. All right? I could have kept walking. I know. Listen, next time you're scraped off the road and put into the back of my ambulance, I'll let you off the fare. Come on, drive, will you? Are you waiting for a night or two? Keep an eye on him and get in touch with the police again.
No, for God's sake, there are no damn street signs. It's just a maze. Two of them ran off. Oh. Oh. Fifteen minutes, if there are no more lunatics. My arm hurts! I hope it does, boy. I hope it does. <laughs> BP60 over 40. How much farther? Another five minutes. Yeah, get the finger up, love. Finish my bandage, will you, mister? It really hurts now. You just better hope he doesn't die, boy. You just better hope. Get him out of here before I cut him. Ow! RTAs, head injury unconscious. BP60 over 40. BP60, oh, that's crushing. 60 over 40. How did it happen? Yeah, no. He's a big boy. Nice nice My arm hurts. Look, I'll give me something. Put the Get him out of here. Cool it. Kill him. Easy, man. Easy. Get him out of here. Easy, right? What the hell? Sorry. What I call it. Right. Right, inside. 60 over 40, five minutes ago, right? And 90 over 60 when we picked him up. He's got a tachycardia of over 120. Could have got him here 20 minutes earlier, those little gits at him. All right, all right. It's up to the old bill now, isn't it? I got a call in. Okay. Oh, that's nasty. They didn't tell us about that, did they? No. Puncture wound. Oh. Pack that, swabs and a pressure dressing. Right, let's get him on his side. Look. Oh, oh, you are a big one, Moonbeam. I want to get another line up. Cannula. Six units of blood cross matched and full blood count. Here we go. Find Thornton and get the radio to your portable chest pronto. Fornicate, Charlie. I'm on my way. I'll do that one. Are you okay with that? Yep. Another bit of tape. Thanks. Six units cross match and full blood count. You know, you've really changed since you came to us. How is that? No, you're a not bad doctor. That's what I learned from you, Mr. Fairhead. Come on, Andy. If you didn't, you'd have been out. I could have broken his neck. A married ambulance man is hard enough. Don't need an unemployed one, too. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs>